Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, other than my electronics people, I remember that bitch with the green hair who has the wild-ass kid names. She, okay, this might actually help. I don't know if she still does, but she had a purse that she made out of monster pull tabs. She chained them all together. It was like a chainmail purse made out of monster pull tabs. A monster energy drink? Yes! It was the most fucking, like, teenage girl thing ever, but she was like 40 and had two kids. And green hair. And she was fat, and her name was Melanie. Well, almost certainly. She didn't change it the whole time I was there, though, so. And I was there a year and a half. Um, she worked in the, the grocery stock, like, backroom grocery. She worked, like, receiving on that side or something. But the other, the other fucking person I remember, he was this weird kid. You know how sometimes people have a pretty high spaghetti level, and you can just kind of feel it? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um... With my spaghetti <laughs> With my spaghetti level, so. <laughs> Your spaghetti level's pretty up there. <laughs> no, <laughs> my friend Cal Al came up with that. He says they have a high spaghetti level, and uh, if they're saucy, then it's like worse. <laughs> like, the more sauce, the worse it is. But, um. <laughs> fucking. This kid was pretty spaghetti, and he was talking about. Because he was, like, freshly 21, so he was talking about, like, some alcohol that he tried. And he's like, yeah, I don't like a lot of the stuff, but you know what's good? That non-father's root beer. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, you mean not your father's root beer? He's like, yeah, the non-father. <laughs> My favorite fucking movie, the non-father. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, what what were you saying about this bitch backpedaling? I was training with this girl. She was this older black woman who had was talking about her teenage son, and she was talking about how she found a crusty gum sock jammed between his bed and the wall. <laughs> she was only there for like, two weeks. Have you been, uh, reported for sexual assault yet? I literally was within my first six months because I made some joke about a butt. Not even her butt, but she was offended and reported me. I just feel like people in fucking... People in general, but specifically people from the north are just like... They're fucking out to get you. For no reason. They just want to start trouble. My whole fucking family does it too. They talk shit about everybody behind their back. It's just obs Like, why? What do you get out of it? My dad's the only one who doesn't do it. And my dad's the only one we have in common, really. Because <laughs> he's autistic. Yeah, I understand. Why?
Yeah, you're right. Taco Tuesdays. Uh, it's because they try to be like more budget than the already budget friendly alternatives like Walmart and Aldi and it, it doesn't work out. You're cutting too many like you're not making enough and you're cutting too many costs and shit. Or you're you're not cutting enough costs, I should say. He, first and foremost, Angel's not going to kick him out to the street for whatever reason. <laughs> Secondly... Secondly, he has no problem finding a job because he does have a pretty, like, extensive and, albeit, like, started very late, it's pretty impressive retail resume. He's worked at pretty much every fucking grocery store and he has a decent track record. He has been fired from two different places now for stealing out of the dumpster, which is a stupid fucking rule anyway. <laughs> so at Tops, he got fired. Do you guys have Tops? I don't know where that cuts off. Don't it's a grocery so. store. Sounds familiar, but I, um, I don't think I've ever heard. Tops is also a baseball card brand. Um... He got fired from there for taking the donuts, that the, like the day-old donuts that they were going to throw away. He took them home, so he got fired from there for that, because he was stealing company property. And then at... Exactly! But it's company it property until it's out of the premises. Until waste management comes and also puts up that dumpster. Thing. Yeah, what it wasn't, they didn't say it was a liability issue, they said it was fucking, it was for stealing company property. <laughs> but, um, he also got fired from Family Dollar for, uh, the same thing, taking stuff that was already thrown out. Like, they had ripped camping chairs, I think was the... The straw that broke the camel's back. There was some ripped, like, camping chairs that they had to throw out because they couldn't sell. And Joe came and picked them up, and Dad got fired for that. More stairs. Yep. My mom's a big fan of telling me and Abby that we look like twins, when in reality we look alike because we're brother and sister, but we do not look like twins. And also... <laughs> the... 
Abby does this thing with her autism where I start to say something or do something. No, I didn't get painter's tape, Kayla. We have, like, fucking six rolls of it. Suck my dick. Anyway, uh, I start to, like, say or do something. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll quote something or I'll make a noise or something. And Abby will, like, follow along and, like, copy or extend or something. And basically. But my mom will be like, You two are fucked up. You're just like twins. Like, that gets on my nerves so fucking much. Got me. Twenty five if a fiend, maybe forty if she's clean, obscenely oh. seen. Do got eaten. Fire cat, fire cat. She's shooting fireballs. Also, you ever get irrationally angry at some shit? Because the way Abby walks pisses me off. <laughs> she, like, bounces and flails her arms around while she walks because she's shaped like a fucking rubber ball. And she also likes to make comments all the time. Ooh, let's fight a mechamorph. mechamorph. Yeah, I'll come back. Or you can just fight it, because I'm at, I teleported in the next area, I think. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> What's this about? <laughs> about Julia being older. <laughs> that is just not true. I'm Which the one older is one. Older? You're the older one. I am. Yeah. Save the best for last. <laughs> no. The oldest Nick and the Barbie. It's just like... It's so easy to ignore after all these fucking years. They're literally the types of people who are like, oh, I have a black friend, so I can't be racist. But like, no, you definitely can, yeah? <laughs> Statistics, baby! That's a thing everywhere. That's not a...
Blaine is already completely aware that, like, his dad's racist and sexist and homophobic and everything. Because we were talking to him about it when we were up there. Like, Blaine can hold a conversation. He's not a stupid fucking kid. I still think he's four. <laughs> Blaine's, like, six feet tall now. No, I, last time I heard <laughs> Blaine was when he was, like, four. Yeah, no, I noticed that. Bennett's, uh, Best Bennett's I heard the him was when he was four, so. He's the silent troublemaker. And Blaine's the me type. He yells at the other one when he gets upset, and then he gets beat. No, Sam has always been- she's so fucking submissive. And Joe treats her like fucking garbage and it's hilarious. Those samples will not last long. Perhaps you should yeah, no, you're me. absolutely correct. It's just... My mom also does this thing where she wants me and... Because Joe and Sam used to be her go-tos when they lived down here. They would always hang out together and do all their garbage and be fucking generally racist do together. Do all their garbage. <laughs> um, but... Uh, she now wants us to do everything with her all the time, which is kind of annoying. Um, just don't. And I don't want to most of the time, and I, I actively avoid it most of the time. And she does absolutely throw a fit. It's wild what she does. Aaron, where are you? I'm doing the quests. <laughs> we finished the act. Doing side quests, dickhead. Literally. Remember? I don't know if you remember. I don't know if we were playing that day or if I was playing with somebody else. But I was certainly playing League because I was at my computer. And we got in an argument and I went in my room. The argument I had thought was over, I went away because I did not want to argue. She followed me in and pushed me out of my fucking chair! <laughs> Who does that? Pushes someone out of a chair. <laughs> I
I don't know. I think I might have been using earbuds at that point. Maybe that's what it was. Severe thunderstorm warning update. Ah. Nick, there's a foul door here. Right, it's coming down. Come on. I am in the eighth act. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Trying to do side quests over here, brother. I'm on my way. I just don't like trashy people. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Does we remind him of his family? <laughs> Acquaintances. Come on, Yarf. I warped you. Where are you? Uh, way up from the thingy. No, up. Okay. I think you can go around that way, but it doesn't matter. I'm you see me now? Name, I'm not seeing it. I see you. Yeah, you're behind my HP bar. It's just, and I don't know. I've also noticed recently everyone I went to high school with is either on one of those like fad diets that you have to pay for, or is joining a multi-level marketing <laughs> scheme. Like uh, Emily just recently started doing uh, fucking one of those like Mary Kay things, but you sell jewelry. It's just. So crazy! I don't know how anybody can be stupid at the, like. My mom used to do that one of those. It doesn't make sense to me because I would never be dumb enough to <laughs> do that shit. So it doesn't make sense that someone else could be dumb enough to do that shit. But I get the same kind of like weird phenomena with like music because I can just like kind of pick out, like, notes and musical motifs and stuff, and when I talk to Kayla about it, she doesn't understand, because she's not, like, very musically brand. She didn't take band in school and stuff, so, like... Yeah, it's just, like... I have a problem grasping that other people cannot do that stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Kobe, did you need Earthquake for your build? <laughs> you know? Aaron, did you see how red that was? Yeah, I did see how red that was. <laughs> it's a wand, do you want it? Or it's a war staff. No, I can't use staffs. Alright. Yeah. No, that's... Trying to have uh, any sort of even remotely political discourse with any fucking boomer is so hard. It's not worth your time. Yeah, I hear them rant on them about something that races, and I just ignore it. Joe's the biggest boomer of them all, dude. For a Gen Xer, he's a real boomer. <laughs> He literally uses the line, I have black friends. My favorite thing is when uh, I get told that the, common, the uh, stock market is booming, and then a day later I get told to help them make a stock market account, because I took classes on it. It's actually dropping, <laughs> but... But they get told that it's booming, so it's booming. I took like three years of like stock market stuff, and they keep that telling me to make a make stuff for them, and then, but they know everything about it.
Good to see you. If so, Grigor lived without a single. You know, this is pretty good. Sun is changing, and so are we who live. You know what else is a good watch on Netflix? I think you should leave with uh, Tim Robinson. Did you watch it? Yo, let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to watch the documentary of the uh, the Dream Killer, I believe. No, um, someone dreamed that them and their best friend committed the murder, so they uh, or it's a murder happened, and then this person had a dream that them and their best friend did it, and then they confessed to the police, and uh, the dude ended up doing time for like five years. Because his friend dreamed that they killed somebody. I believe it was called the Dream Killer. No, they didn't kill anybody. Yes, it was two guys, I believe. I know the guy was the one who was um, the friend who got accused. I don't know who the actual QZ was. Hmm. I don't watch my stuff on Netflix, but I do want to watch that. Even though I, I put it on my list like three years ago. I'll get to it eventually. Like, I watched... I think you should leave. Then it was BoJack. Then I don't think I watched anything for... Until, oh, The Witcher. Then it was, uh... Then I don't think I watched anything for over like a year. Jeff watched it. I didn't think Aaron's here right now. Yeah, I did all the DLCs. I did Naked on Heart or Death March. <laughs> I was a bird boy. Because you take the towel, you drop the towel in the, uh, when you meet Amir the first time. Then you can go back to, and pick it up. Then you uh they get one shot by the final boss and the other DLCs. That's always fun. But um <laughs> He might still one shot you. I forget his name too. That was a tough boss. Even his dot would just one shot me. Like I would just die. 
I was there for like an hour. That was harder than like any Dark Souls boss. I mean, again, I was doing like a challenge playthrough. I was wearing Death March, uh, the towel, and I had a bird mask on. That's all I had. Bird boy. I haven't read the first book in a very long time. Hmm. Well, they they took their own. Uh, they wanted to the, uh, cut some characters out, I believe. Because Triss isn't really a character until the third book. I just assume everything from Netflix is going to be jank, so I was actually surprised by um, what I liked of it. It's very... Mm. That's serious, fine. That's how her parents were. Right, that that was it. Grandparents, grandparents. The 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 lion and the uh, yeah yeah. yeah. I thought that there. I thought her acting was kind of bad, but people liked it, so I just thought I didn't see her right. And I thought that that intro battle that was um that was kind of interesting. Now it made to be like a big battle, and just like oh, he's dead. I mean, besides that, they besides that, they, I thought the show was fine. Is that? Just bond alien from aliens. I'm Dinomorph. I haven't watched it in a while, and I watched it in one sitting. Hmm. TV, no, TV show is good. There's, it's it was a good adaptation. They just took some things to make it more simple, that's all. But, uh, they do have hints throughout every episode, but yeah, I, I can see the issue. Mm. 
Like, the first one is by, uh... I forget her name, but... The, the, the first, like, big baddie at the first episode, I forget her name. Renry? Or Fenry? No, it's not Fenry. Yes. Let's go, old dabs. Apple, uh... Apple something. Or, or, uh, Elm Apple? I forget her name. <laughs> something Apple. Aaron, are you here? I see you going to different areas. <laughs> He's in the covered up hollow? I don't even know where that is. I just wish it wasn't like a year away. Everyone keeps calling for Mark Hamill to be Vesemir. I just I don't I I don't even I don't even see him being it, to be honest. I think oh he looks like Vesemir from Nick the Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. <laughs> Earth the firmness. A handlebar stash. Teach and Chong. I'll be right back. I don't intend to. They make out and then he dies. Darth Jar Jar would have been better than this. <laughs>
Isn't it more aye. that it's a, it's a Disney movie, so the heroes always win? I mean, heroes always win in most movies, to be fair. So what I thought was going to happen with the Star Wars trilogy was that Kylo was going to flip and be the good guy, and Rey was going to flip and be the bad guy. And I mean, that was kind of right, but not all the way. Sips the deal in absolutes. Hey, by I'd saying never seen that, Star Wars though, movie. by saying that, he's a Jedi dealing in absolutes. So, <laughs> I also saw the post today. That is true. I don't know. I don't. When okay, so here's what broke me for the I, uh, the episode seven. Just felt like, oh, let's rehash everything from episode four for the nostalgia factor. Classic Disney, right? I was okay with that. Not, I didn't feel good about it, but I was okay with that. Episode eight, what fucking picked me up and snapped me over its knee like a sack of potatoes was when the ship fucking blows up and Leia just force flies back in or some shit. There's a difference, though, between being Force-sensitive and using the Force. Leia's never been shown using the Force. I thought people liked that scene. If people like that scene, they're fucking garbage cans. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen the movie. They're SJW any of them. White Knights who are I, like, I've seen the girl clip, power. They're the they same like people it. who like the stupid fucking girl power scene at the end of Endgame. Fuck that garbage. Is there a girl power scene at the end of girl? I can't believe you. I forgot about that. I purged it from my memory. Kobe hasn't even experienced yet. Kobe, right now, let's go and play the rest of Borderlands 3. We're almost done, please. You gonna skip cutscenes now. <laughs> skip them all except that last one. You gotta see Anna, Ada. I think what? that's the only cutscene worth watching. <laughs> the hidden cutscene where, uh, where, where Typhon gets a handy. Oh. Who's the guy with the four arms, right? Yes, Nick. <laughs> Mace wind tunnel. Put him in a coffin. <laughs> Lando? <laughs> You got the actual voice actor for um, BF2? I people liked that one too. People liked Solo less than they liked Rogue One, I will say that much. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was like. I'm willing to watch the Obi-Wan movie as well when that comes out. I thought that people didn't like Han or uh, Solo when it came out, but after a couple weeks they were like, oh, it's actually Yeah, good. that's usually what happens with movies like that. They went, they went in hating it, and then they were like, you know what, making back on it. It's people are like the scene with the train. Someone <laughs> it's like that for every Star Wars movie. Someone that I almost like you remember said that episode nine was not as offensive as episode eight. And I haven't seen nine, but from what Kobe's saying, it sounds more offensive.
Hey, Astro baby, what are you doing over there? I'm farting. Fart, fart, fart. Astro baby, fart, fart, fart. You know, you can't drop your trout and do a fucking mon mongo deuce on my face. Speak for yourself. My mana is gone. My mana is gone. I don't think Daisy Ridley is a really good actor, anyway, but... I don't separate my, my, my job titles by gender, thank you. I'm woke. It's a movie? I never seen the movies, but I just expected I just walked they all the way cool. to the metamorph and he fucking one shotted me. What's a kid I don't know, it's a movie for kids. And, uh, <laughs> Nicholas. First and foremost, it's a uh, it's rated E for everyone. <laughs> They're PG thirteen, are they not? So they're not really. No, they're definitely kids. PG. Peggy 18. Peggy 21. Also, how did they implement to watch Lord of the, Rings. Uh, the dead bitch into this new movie? Uh, Carrie Fisher? Leia. Yeah. Carrie Fisher fucking beefed it like three years ago. <laughs> she died before episode 8 came out. It was during like, the filming, right? Or something like yeah, that. so they had already filmed her scenes for 9, but I just... Does he? Oh, okay. Force Ghost. Makes sense. Yeah. I hated the fucking Yoda scene. He's such a gremlin, I fucking hate him. <laughs> War crimes! Also, um, Disney has been capitalizing on how popular the Mandalorian has been, and I have to see stupid- do you know what a spirit jersey is, Kobe? They're like the, uh, sweater type shirts that, uh, they have like a split, like right below where the tits would be, and they, uh, the top usually has like the Walt Disney logo on the left side and sometimes they say stuff across the back and front. There's one where above that split, above that seam, is the fucking uh, the child from the Mandalorian peeking out. And the amount of times I see the stupid mint green fucking with that stupid ugly ass fucking baby face on it. I just want to punch everybody That's fucking wearing good. one. Apparently it's pretty good, but I refuse to watch it on principle alone. Same thing with Rick and Morty. I know people liked it, like, uh, I was kind of following along with it up to, like, episode one or two, just, like, in terms of how people responded to it, but after like, episode two, I just stopped caring.
I didn't watch season three and season four because that's when the fandom fucking blew up and just made it awful. It makes me not want to enjoy it's anything. Been, it's more than two seasons or three seasons. Season four just came out. Like it just finished. Right? Well, yeah, I what thought that <laughs> they took like nine years to do season three. No, no, no. Next time. Not talking about Rick and Morty. I was talking about uh, the Mandalorian. They did it's take like episode several years. I heard between... about someone into. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay, well, Nick was talking about episode one and two for the Mandalorian. I thought he was talking about episode one and two for this season of Rick and Morty. No, no, yeah, the Mandalorian, because I heard that the the Baby Yoda was episode two or something like that, right? It's episode two or three. So the episode one. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I because it was like the, the same time. Show. It's... I would browse the subreddit at the same time I'd browse the uh, the Game of Thrones and Free Folk subreddit after like Free Folk the uh, air date. Did it not? Yes, well they both were. Uh, gar Game of Thrones has been garbage, but then Free Folk went the garbage after the season ended. But um, I would just peek to see like how people thought of it. And uh, what is this box buckskin tunic? But um, yeah, since people were enjoying Mandalorian, so I thought that was fine. But I thought it would be like another eight years until we saw like another Rick and Morty season. No, there was a couple of years between two or between three and four. About the same time there was, or it was quicker from three to four than it was from two to three. It seemed like it was like two weeks. They didn't season three just come out. Season three came out in like 2018. Really? Because I remember the whole Szechuan sauce debacle was. Uh, that was season were two, like, I thought. No, that was season three. Uh, okay, I th I missed. That was actually pre-season three. They released like that free bonus yeah. episode. I knew that there was like a long time between seasons. I thought there was season two that they had, and then they took a long time. Not, not season three that took a long time. I just don't watch much TV. I'm only watching the Better Call Saul right now. I don't partake in cable at all. Extremely good. Yeah. I watched the first two or three episodes of the first season with Craig, because Craig was super into Breaking Bad. You want to do this uh, metamorph? Uh, there's a spot over here. We can do it. Dude, we were the best at fucking Happy Wars. The around the back strat got everybody. Like ten year olds. What's over here? Was Craig the wizard? I was the warrior. There was warrior, paladin, and mage, or whatever. You can spawn the guy. You can spawn the metamorph Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Naren's up here. I got him. Wait, did he go back up there? Or why? Yes, you can spawn him on you. Well, why were you saying I could spawn? You don't spawn need to walk him? over to him. <laughs> because I thought he was on you, but then he just teleported over to me. I thought he was on me, but I wanted to spawn him in a more <laughs> open area, not a fucking subway That's tunnel. Fine. So we got him, I think. Oh, it's over here. Mine's sitting pretty right now. Won't be in a couple days, because I paid off, like... <laughs> <laughs> Three Gosh. different fucking things today. So that was like twelve hundred dollars. That will be coming out because they had none of the payments posted yet. Are we going to the quay? I went to the quay. Yeah, but how is the couch? It's nice actually. I prefer kind of a more firm couch instead of the one that I was fucking sinking into and couldn't stand up from.
Undying Rig of Flames is now helping. Did you see my mom's brown couch when you were down here, Kobe? I don't remember. Yeah, that that shit was garbage, and we just put it out to the curb today. So. Jeffrey. <laughs> But we got two, like, full wood couches today. I mean, obviously the cushions and shit aren't wood, but the frame is full, like, hardwood. It's not like a plywood <laughs> garbage can frame. It's not like a thin balsa wood frame. <laughs> it snaps every time you fucking sit on it. They're intricately carved and deeply stained. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> Baby Porkins is in the 90th percentile for weight, and the 30th percentile for height. Oh, <laughs> regular chode! Old tuna can over here! <laughs> Kobe, have you watched I Think You Should Leave? You should watch it tonight, it's like two hours. It's very good. Motorcycle with no moda? Oh, okay! <laughs> Two motorcycles with a little cow house in between them? <laughs> shitty shitty Cocoa Puff. <laughs> Inferno Cop! <laughs> Inferno Cop's the best anime to ever fucking exist. No, that's uh, either Detective Conan. Conan? That's probably Detective Conan. Ed was certainly there. If it was Inferno Cop, Ed made us watch Inferno Cop. We watched the entirety of Ping Pong, and then we watched Inferno Cop. Entirety of Ping Pong. Much of this nerd stuff. Ping Pong the animation is very disgusting to look at upon a first watch. Ping Pong looks so bad. Emily. I wonder if he's undergoing, like, hormone treatment or anything. <laughs> My mana is gone. What did you just say to me? <laughs> Leave this man. <laughs> The Scooby Crew. Brie wasn't really. She was like an on-off member of the Scooby Crew. Mike was flaky, but Brie was just like she couldn't come all the time. Mike would tell us he was gonna come and not fucking show up. I remember his excuse for three fucking weeks straight was, "I'm going to look at a car in Camillus." Like, <laughs> you still looking at that car in Camillus, asshole? Resurrection site over here, Nicholas. Resahui? Resurrection site? I don't know if we need to be there. Where? You went south? Okay. I found the door. Is this a side area then? I don't know. I can see. <laughs> All of us can break the cycle. 
The cycle of abuse. Larissa, explain it bird. all. What is she doing? She's opening the portal. She's getting the zombies. We gotta defeat them. Is that the joke? That we have fart and nobody barfs? Where's how Sleepy Dead? Sleepy Dead of Anger. Sleepy Dead. Sleepy Dead Corpse. Clarissa, are you okay? Kill told me. How could I have been so I'm Assassin's Creed? Just go to above the surface and use your bow. You don't have to take anything in the water. I'll spawn the nerd. Never mind. No, I can't do it. Did you ever make a blue one, Aaron? Yeah, I did. Did I only have to do one? Okay. You only gotta do one. Okay. No, just any enemy in that game, just go to the surface and just use your bow. You can shoot through the water and still do four damage. Or full damage. Aaron, you died. You can't do that yet, I don't think. No, it's an actual story mission later on. Hmm. It's like the second to last thing you'll do in the game, I believe. There's like four things you get told. You get told to like do these four things around the map, and then uh, that's one of them. Yeah, I spent like an hour trying to get in there. Like maybe I gotta like jump in through this side and go swimming around. Cause you can just go right to it. <laughs> Thought you'd be cool. I have this weird commitment issue where I don't want to start a new game because it consumes so much fucking time. Like I would love to play both Origins and Odyssey on top of like all these other fucking it. games. And just like, they're huge they're, commitments. Witcher is another it's, one. It's like huge commitment. Quantity <laughs> over quality. They're the quantity over quality. Those two games. Yeah. Really? There's so much stuff in. Or you talked like games Odyssey are just was really so good. boring. It was good until like I've had to just slug through it. I just do a main story. Way too much. If I'm that autistic and don't a again, want to get all this the main story. <laughs> I didn't get all the achievements. You didn't get the DLC ones. <laughs> you clown. No, I didn't get the main games either. I didn't care for that. Plus, like, if you want to play on the hardest difficulty, which you shouldn't, because there's no reason to. Trying to do stealth is just so annoying. Better off just pecking into, like, warrior or whatever. You have to spec into, like, assassins so much. To be able to one-shot somebody in stealth. That's one thing, I don't like... Is I there even the assassin that aspect game. anymore? It seems like Not since really. Black I mean, you Flag, can do it. kind of got rid of... In, the whole um, point. Or, or in, in Origins, there is a setting... That you can turn off all the RPG mechanics and just play like a, set, a normal Assassin's Creed game. But they got rid of that for uh, Odyssey, which I absolutely hate. We have Origins? I made sure I specced into it. Into it. Yeah, it was weird, because this one I played was Black Flag, so then I, a decade later. I didn't like the ship mechanics in Black Flag. The sailing seems like the thing people like most out of Black Flag. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I felt like it was a lot of samey after like the first hour. Rogue is the same as Black Flag, right? No, they're different games. Also, I hate the brother's voice in uh, Odyssey. I think it's, if I played as him, I never would have finished the game. 
I think all the voice acting is just terrible in that game. Oh yeah, but I don't like his voice. It just switches the main. It's just the same thing, but it just switches the dialogue for each person. Can I uh, pitch you guys an idea here? Yeah, you pitch what? Uh, a Telltale game, but your decisions actually matter. No, that's funny. <laughs> I wish I could have Vaughn paralyzed until Borderlands 3. Cause he fucking sucks in, uh, Tails. Those are dailies, you know how to do that. There's a lot of quests that are, yeah, they, all those ones just appear out of nowhere. Those are all just, uh, random encounters. I'm gonna do those. I mean, I didn't do those after a while. They're a good experience for the very beginning, but after a while, I just only did the main quest. Or in side quests. I didn't do any of the X ones that didn't actually have dedication to them. That are just killed five mercenaries at this camp and then come back to me. So, Kobe, kill uh, five werewolves. I'm gonna grab Don't Starve Together, and that's, I guess, what we're gonna do Sunday. If you would like to join us. None of us, except Nick, have ever played Don't Starve, so... I haven't played in battle a decade. Andrew died. I mean, the first game is good. I mean, the original game is good, it's just... is solo. I think having multiplayer would be fantastic. Mm, I mean, you thought that about Stardew. Here we are. We played Stardew fine. We played it for like six weeks. <laughs> we played it for like two I weeks got bored. before you got bored. No, I, I gave it up full month. Then it was... we did everything. I know, I didn't start getting in the way until like year two. I don't... I think the stuff shouldn't be gated behind year three, because there's a bunch of stuff that gets gated. Yeah, like, all, I think all of year two, year two is pointless. What's the point? In my opinion. If the stuff was gated behind year two instead of year three, I think it would keep the progression flowing. I guess by yourself having it gated behind year three kind of makes sense. But at that point, like, why can't you just unlock it at year two and then let the character get to it when they get to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Where am I? I can't like If they just got rid of anything. year two, I think I would have preferred it more and just made, like, year... They just made everything add up. I know we missed stuff, but I just didn't want to do like all that content again. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in and fucking power farm and do the the Joja Mart stuff. And I think that's it. I just want to see mm -hmm. that ending. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see why not, a, but, um, I'm not, I'm halfway. Uh, when you give Joja the, or when you buy the Joja thing, the mayor's like, fuck it, I'm selling the community center, and then Joja turns it into a warehouse. That's how it should be. I gotta pop my stuff again, whoops. And weapons. You can just snipe with the bow, the bow, if I remember correctly. Oh, I died. <coughs> the game is definitely more enjoyable just playing it easy or normal and just like being OP. What are you texting me, Kayla? Why do you do this? She literally. Yeah, I played through about seventy percent of it on insane. Or whatever the highest difficulty is, and it was a slog. Especially at the beginning, because it takes like you die in one shot. It needs to just like be a perfect player. I also had an issue with the controls. 
I think I was playing another third person game at the same time as well. So, uh, I was getting the controls confused. I think we need just like a really hectic game for Soggy Night. Yeah, I don't think of any. <laughs> a really hectic. hectic game. I think Overcooked was fun because it was all over the fucking map. Overcooked was fun. Yeah, like, it's not that much to it, it's just make food for it. But it was one of the best soggy games up there with like Dark Souls, not Dark Souls. Um, we didn't play it for soggy, but it was a good for it was like PUBG. It, we just played it casually. It wasn't. We didn't really do soggy. It was just playing the game back then. Oh, whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Rate right, your recent U-Haul experience. Fucking garbage. I never once rated something when they sent me like with an app notification.